Hi folks, an update on that cult group, Sea Shepherd, with their sub-cult group, the Cope Guardians, who go to Taiji, Japan, to harass the citizens there because the dolphin harvesting that takes place there. Well, this past December, one of the members of the uh, Cove Guardians, a gentleman from the Netherlands, a Dutchman by the name of Erwin van Mueller, he was arrested by the police in Taiji, Japan. That's it, kids. He got arrested. And Sea Shepherd is saying, oh my gosh, all he was doing was taking photographs and the police arrested him. He was taking photographs, so they say, of a dolphin transfer taking place to be shipped off to a marina somewhere, I guess. Well, the police said he shoved a fisherman with his camera. That's an assault. In addition, which Sea Shepherd is not reporting, he was trespassing. So he's trespassing and he's charged with assault. So Mr. Van Mullen is taken off into prison. The rest of the Cove Guardians go back to their hotel and just shuddering in fear. Are we next? Are we next going to be the victim of police brutality? Well, the police come to the hotel where Sea Shepherd is infesting with lice, bed bugs, etc., and fleas. And they confiscate the electronic equipment from the Cove Guardians, Sea Shepherd, computers, cameras. Well, a day or two later, the police return all the equipment except the SD cards. The police kept the SD cards. So I've been asking Sea Shepherd to post a video showing us where Mr. Van Mullen was innocently taking photographs and the police come up and just arrest the guy for taking photographs. Well, by Sea Shepherd saying, why wow, they took our SD cards, is an indication, well, how can we show a video of that when the police have the SD cards? Hello? Those of you who travel, as well as myself when I travel, I take video and photographs during the day, and as soon as I get back to the hotel room, the first thing I do is eject the SD card from the cameras, inject it into the computer, and download the photography and the video from the day. Now, if I'm thinking the police are about to come banging on the door, I'm doing one of two things. I'm downloading it to my computer, or I'm making a duplicate and then hiding it somewhere in the room. So, is Sea Shepherd telling me that they were stupid and did not download it? That they were stupid and did not make a duplicate? What are you, stupid? They think I'm stupid? That's rather stupid. If the police kept the SD cards, oh, and I could see the police keeping the SD cards. You know why? It was a criminal investigation. That's evidence in a crime that was committed. Police all over the world confiscate evidence in the pursuit of a criminal investigation. So Sea Shepherd has duplicates. Sea Shepherd downloaded it somewhere on their computers. They have that video, but they won't show it because it will show that the police were correct. So now, a lot of the press, specifically in Australia, but also in the Netherlands, is getting their information from the propaganda and communications issued by Sea Shepherd without any independent verification. Sea Shepherd said it, it's the truth. Well, here's the independent verification right here. Mr. Van Mullen is in jail. Uh huh. But Sea Shepherd went to post a bond to get him out of jail, or a bail, whatever you call it, to get him out of jail. He refused to be released. He refused to accept it. He wants to stay in that jail. Yeah! He's enjoying the hospitality of Japanese taxpayers at their expense. He sees himself as another Gandhi. See that? That's why he wants to stay in jail. Another Gandhi to save the dolphins. How noble of Mr. Van Mullen. Did Sea Shepherd report that? I don't recall reading it. He goes to court the other day, and the Sea Shepherd drones report, oh, He looked terrible, unshaven, thin, and long hair. Oh, how are the Japanese treating him? To which I have to say, Wee! 
really is the explanation. When Mr. Van Mulen was arrested just a little over a month ago, he already had that long hair. The average hair grows about a half an inch a month. Huh. <laughs> anyway, about a half an inch a month. So his hair may have grown three quarters of an inch, and that's long hair? He's thin? Perhaps he's fasting since he sees himself as Gandhi. He has no beard, he, has, he, has, he looks unshaven. Well, if I was the Japanese police and this man refused bail, this man sees himself as Gandhi, this man is fasting, I have him on a suicide alert. I am not giving him any razor blades to slit his throat or wrist just to create publicity and sensationalism as he would like to do and expose or show, so to say, the evil Japanese did that to me. I wouldn't give him a razor. That's why he has the beard. Suicide watch. Then he's fasting. Long hair, it's natural. So now Sea Shepherd is saying, well, the Japanese, no visitors they're allowing him, and they're not giving him his mail. Hello? If he has no visitors, that means no one on the outside has spoken to him. So how do you know he hasn't gotten his mail? He is, uh, he does receive mail that is sent to him. The Japanese aren't withholding the mail. They open it up and read it and look at it just like any other co correctional institution in the world does. No mail is being withheld. The say it's being withheld. Lie! That's a lie. Now some of the reports are coming out saying, well, he cannot get a fair trial in Japan. And you want to know why they're saying he can't get a fair trial in Japan? The reason is because Japanese prosecutors have a 99% conviction rate. See? 99% of the cases they take to court to prosecute, they get a conviction. So to these people outside of Japan, these imperialists in the West, well, that could only mean prosecutorial misconduct upon the prosecutors in Japan. How do you get a 99% conviction rate unless there's misconduct on the part of the prosecutors? Let's evaluate this. Could it not be because of their professionalism? Could it not be because they only submit cases and prosecute in which they have overwhelming evidence, secure sound evidence? Could that not possibly be the situation? No. Not according to people with round-eyed races in the West, specifically in Europe. See? That's the truth, kids. God bless the... Look, and here's another thing. If you think the Japanese judicial system is rigged, then when you go to Japan, why are you breaking the law? I traveled close to 3,000 miles in Japan in 10 days. I didn't break any laws. I didn't have to come in conflict with the Japanese prosecutors. I was in Taiji. I did not see one policeman. I met with the mayor. I was in his office. I was in City Hall. I met with the Fisherman Association in Taiji. Remember where did I see the police? Sea Shepherd shows up and there's police. What does that tell you? You look for trouble, you're going to get into trouble. And the other thing we also say, if you do the crime, be prepared to do the time, Mr. Van Mulen, or should I say, Gandhi Van Mulen. <laughs> we'll see you, folks. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. <laughs>